everybody I hope everybody's doing well well today is Sunday September 18th 2016 and I'm here to do a big haul video for you guys um, I'm gonna try to run through this really really quick I actually recorded this last Sunday um, I did it around 8 p.m. and then when I went to go edit the video the following day I realized that the lighting was horrible horrible a lot of the swatches and things like that they just they weren't just they weren't coming up and then I have a confession to make. Yes, but I'm not going to talk about that until the absolute end. And um, you'll see what I'm saying. All right, guys. So yesterday, let's do yesterday's because it wasn't that big. I went to um, Ross. Let me show you what I picked up. I got this really cute um, salt and pepper set for $2.99. And um, they're acorns. Really, really pretty copper color. Um, they had a pumpkins that were really pretty, uh, but I want to use these and the pumpkins were so big um, that I just don't think that we were going to, it would, it would be functional is what I'm saying. So I thought these were cute. These here, I thought they were cute. So um, the holes are a little bit big, but we'll see if we can make it work. And, and if it fails, you know, these are cute little decoration. Um, so yeah, I got these two for $2.99. Like I said, the pumpkins, they were really, really big. Uh, the other thing I picked up were these uh, Sally Hansons for $2.99. These are um, exact tweez, just some tweezers. Um, yeah, I, let me show you. I purchased these and I hauled these not too long ago. These are from the Kardashian and I bought them at Ulta. I did get it on clearance. This is horrible, horrible. I, I don't recommend this. Um, yeah, I don't recommend this. These, honestly, these, yeah, I, I just don't recommend that. The other thing I found there, now I have a story. You know me and my stories. I found the BH Cosmetics uh, Contour and Blush Six Color Palette. Now, it says $8.99 right here, and that's what they run, okay? I had seen one there that uh, didn't have a box. It was just thrown in there and it was it was okay it didn't have the protective sleeve like this it didn't have that but it didn't look too bad it didn't look too messed with and so I wanted it I was gonna ha you know sanitize it with some alcohol and um, so I went up to the customer service and I had said how much it was because there was no price on it and anyway the gentleman he was so nice he was an elderly man and he was just he could tell that he just loved his job anyway he went over there to go check see if he can find one and he brought one back and it wasn't it and so he says well if you want this I'll give it to you for five dollars right so I said yeah I'll take it for five bucks I'll take it so so when he went back to drop off the one that he had brought with him that did what didn't go with it that wasn't it he went over there and then he came back and he was going to put a price sticker on the one I wanted and he had found one in a box this one he had found this one and uh, I said, oh, you found one. Oh, okay, good. I go, I'll take the one in the box. He goes, I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you for five bucks too. <laughs> so he gave me this for $5. So that was really nice. So uh, yeah, I, I, that, that's kind of dark. I don't know. It's kind of dark, but we'll see. It's very pigmented. Yeah, very pigmented. Very smooth. But what I'm interested in is this blush right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, let's see. Wow, look at that blush. So yeah, I got that for $5. Not bad, huh? Not bad. All right, and then I went to TJ Maxx. Uh, we had gone out of town. We don't have a TJ Maxx here in our town. But we had gone out of town and I had to stop by there. Uh, I didn't get lucky this time. Usually at TJ Maxx, I can find some really good things. But this time around, not so much. But anyway, I did find the e.l.f. Uh, conditioning lip balm. I haven't used it. And I, I paid um, $1.99 for it. So I'm not going to open this one anytime soon because I am using a, another lip balm right now. But uh, as soon as I'm done with that one, I will try this out. The other thing I got was this, uh, I'm assuming this stands for Cosmetic Mania, the COS there. I don't know, but uh, I got that. And basically it's, it's a makeup brush cleaner. It says quick drying, alcohol free, 
for brushes and sponges and I have tried this on my sponges I haven't tried this on my brushes I did try it on my sponges and I really do like it so far and I'll tell you this much I like it better than the Ulta one that I have but I I am using up the Ulta one in my 13 by Halloween so um, but yeah I, I I can't wait to try this on my brushes and see how that works and I paid $4.99 for that the other thing I picked up, which I have been using and I really, really like it, it's this Clean Sweep Makeup Brush Pad. And I've seen a lot of these. I think Sephora has something like this. This is the box. And I paid um, $4.99 for it. And basically, it's, uh, it's just, and you can see that I've been using it. But, you know, if you use it for your shadow and then you want to use that same brush for another shadow, you just rub it on here and it takes off the shadow and you're able to use it for another shadow and things like that it's, it's really nice it's it works really really wonderfully and basically it's one of these things I'm sure you can pick this type of thing up anywhere I don't know but and you wash these and everything else so um, yeah I, I but I like it I like this it really really worked so I'm glad I got that I forgot to show you something from Ross here I got this uh, look at how pretty that is. Yes, it's fall. Give thanks. That is so pretty. So I got that and I paid uh, $6.99 for this. You get a glare. So I got that. Okay, and uh, real quickly, I went to Sally's. Uh, I dyed my hair red. <laughs> you could see it, or at least I think you could see it. Uh, yeah, I had dyed my hair red. At first, I really was unsure of it because it was like up in here was really, really, really light, light red. But now it's darkening up a little bit, which I like it better. But uh, this is the Icon, I think is the brand. And so and the name of this one was a, oh gosh, Medium Intense Blonde Red. I think that was that was the name of it. Anyways, the other thing I picked up there at that day, I got the Out the Door. This is the nail drying. Uh, awesome stuff. And I think this is $4.99, I believe. But it's good. If you haven't tried this one, I do recommend that one. And that was all I picked up there was the hair dye and that. Uh, at Rite Aid, um, I did pick up at Rite Aid the Almay Foundation. And I don't remember the name, guys. It's actually in my car right now because it's going back. Um, I got it in beige, but it's way too light. Um, so when I get the new one, I'll show it in another haul video for you guys. Anyways, the other thing I got was it was buy one, get one 50% off of their Almay stuff. Is the Almay Smart Shade uh, Concealer. And this is in medium. And, uh, oh, I put on Instagram, I, I showed this on Instagram, and I put on there that this possibly might uh, de dethrone my, my L'Oreal Visible Blur one, that one I always rave about. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still on the fence with it, only because I love the packaging on this. I wish L'Oreal would do this. Oh, gosh. Um, the, it comes out like a, a little bit of a gray color to me. And then it's, you know, it's a smart shade. So it goes, when you put it on, it, it goes to what your color is. Um, I love this concealer. It dries uh, quickly. I mean, it almost dries instantly. Not like the L'Oreal one. The L'Oreal one, The L'Oreal one is very liquidy, very wet. And that one, you, you, you have time to really work it in and things like that. This one dries very, very, very quickly. Um, you don't have to set it. I, I feel like you don't have to. And there's minimal, minimal creasing. Uh, but the coverage is not quite as strong as a L'Oreal one. And I find that it's not lasting like the L'Oreal one. But I don't know. I will keep you posted on this. All right. Um, that was it that I got there at Rite Aid. Target real quickly. I wanted to show these uh, just because I don't know. I'm they, they've been around forever. I've used them forever, but I don't know. I just wanted to show them because the you know the crock pot and all that stuff. Cooking is coming up and stew and all of that. And I just think these are so neat. Very good uh, idea. Very good concept, and it saves so much cleaning time. But I picked these up 
for your slow cookers, these little baggies. You know, maybe not everybody knows, and so I thought I would share it, and that's, you just line your uh, slow cooker with it. And it's awesome, they're awesome, these are awesome. You get six of them for, I think it was $3.99, and we had our Target, you know, uh, red card, you get 5% off. And then if you have cartwheel too, you can always scan them and see if they come up cheaper with cartwheel and then if you have coupons sometimes they do give out coupons for the slow cooker ones so you know if you haven't tried these for your slow cookers I, I really would recommend these I know the Dollar Tree has these as well I seen them yesterday you only get two I believe in that box for a dollar um, I didn't pick it up um, because I had picked this up but anyways I, I do want to try those just to see anyways I wanted to show you that okay moving on this was from last time so it is used I, I used it today uh, this is a real techniques uh, powder brush and this was on clearance now it wasn't on clearance because they're clearancing them out it was a repackage on clearance the the package was sort of messed up on it so I paid five dollars and sixty one cents for this so I wanted to show that this is something I had shown before um, the other thing I picked up was the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. I've been wanting to buy the full size in this because when I bought the CeraVe and I still have them and I still use them, the uh, moisturizer, the AM one and the PM one, one of those, I don't remember which one, had a little sample of this with it, like a bonus buy. I just started using it yesterday and I used it again today. It's for AM and PM and what I like about this is that uh, when you put this on, the eye cream really dries and it dries like, uh, kind of like that concealer quickly and you feel like a pool, like a little bit of a, it's not a, one of those serums that really pull your, your skin, but it does have a little bit of a pool. So it like tightens your skin up a little bit, not a lot. And it dries really, really quickly. So you're not, it's not like cream where it's real greasy. It's not like that. And you use very little of this. So this is $13.99. Okay. The other thing I picked up was this Vichy, Vichy, Vichy uh, product. You're going to see another product here in a minute. Uh, this one was regularly $36 down to $18 and it's a serum, but it's supposed to really pull, uh, your skin, you know, tight and everything else. And I love it. So far I've used it. Uh, I did put it on last night and then I used it today in the morning and it is very, very nice. I even put it on my husband. <laughs> I even put it on him and he really liked it. I, what I like about it too is the smell. It's a very, very soft smell. It's very nice, but it's not strong. Like the Estee Lauder one that I have for dark circles, Ooh, that's strong and I don't like anything that strong on my face. This has a very clean, nice smell. And so, like I said, I just started using this and I figured for $18, I'll give it a shot. And I, you will see something else from that brand here in a minute. Um, okay, the other thing I picked up, guys, on recommendations from, you know, watching YouTube and things like that, Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Uh, <clears throat> this was is used in YouTube as a primer. Uh, I will say it is very tacky and I love that. I love that it's very tacky. Um, I used it three times. Uh, for me, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I'll tell you just really quickly, I think it has a lot to do with the texture of my skin, with a lot of scarring, um, things like that. This really... It, it, what it does with that is like any foundation that I put on, it just, uh, it, it, it shows my scarring. Like it, how can I explain it? It doesn't, it just really no, makes them noticeable <laughs> with this, with this primer. So this one didn't work for me, but my husband likes it. So he'll be finishing that off. Moving on. The other thing I picked up was this, this was on clearance, this SW Basics, five ingredients. It's organic raw apple cider vinegar, organic witch hazel, organic essentials, oils of, um, oh gosh, clary, sage, and sandalwood toner. And this is for uh, blemish, blemishes. And this was on clearance. Now let me tell you how much this sucker was. This thing was $22. 
and it was on clearance for six dollars and sixty cents and this is not for me I don't use toners on my skin this is for my 14 year old so he started using this yesterday and he already sees a difference in his skin so and I would show you his skin but I don't think he want me to do that but anyways um, I really like it or for him I really I did see a difference in him but I also bought him and I didn't bring it here because it's already used but I bought it at TJ Maxx I bought a um, charcoal um, bar you know like a face wash like a charcoal one it's black I bought that for him too so hopefully with that and this uh, I do see a difference in his skin because he was breaking out pretty bad anyways uh, that is it that is my target okay at Ulta all right um, I went to Ulta uh, this is going to be two two different trips I went to Ulta to pick this up um, and if you've seen my empties videos you would have known that I love this product uh, this is the Kenra uh, Platinum. This is the Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. Yeah, protectant. Sorry, I have my contacts on, not my readers. But anyways, it looks like this. It's the full size. This is uh, 6.8 fluid ounces. I had purchased the sample one, the one that you get there when you're ready to go pay and they have them in the front. Uh, the little one, the one point something fluid ounces is $13. This is $33. This is amazing stuff, <laughs> amazing stuff. It has an oily consistency and I've, I've explained about it. This is really good and it really does cut your uh, blow drying time. It really, really does and your hair feels so good. And this is oil based and I really thought that this would really weigh my hair down. It doesn't and the next day your hair does not feel greasy, oily or anything like that. Amazing, amazing stuff. So I picked that up. The other thing, I was talking to the lady there and I was been trying all these texturing sp sprays and volumizing sprays and nothing has really, or I haven't found anything that I have been really looking for. And so when I talked to her there, the, the lady there at Ulta, she, okay, there went the lid. <laughs> she told me, this is exactly what you want. This is the Redken Hairspray. Uh, this is the Wax Blast 10. Oh my gosh, guys, this stuff is amazing. I don't remember what I paid for it, guys. I really don't. I want to say $18.99, $19.99, I think. But this stuff smells divine. Divine. <laughs> I love the smell of this, but it really, really works. It really does. And a little bit. You need to put a little bit of this on. If, if you try this, don't go crazy with it the first day that I used this I went kind of crazy I was like oh yes this is what I want and I was going really really crazy with it and wow your hair is stiff too stiff but not wet and sticky stiff but I mean your hair is not moving it it's amazing stuff amazing the smell is delicious uh, the and it works and it's a hairspray and a texture texture uh, volumizing this is really really good so what you want to do is just basically style your hair and once you're finished styling it and you're ready put this on the inside of your hair not a lot and then you'll see some really good volume and it holds oh my god this sucker holds well worth it I will be repurchasing that amazing stuff all right moving on from that the other thing I picked up and I don't know how I feel about this I really, really don't. There are days where I think, oh yeah, it was worth the $19.50. And then there are days where I'm like, I'm going to take it back. Uh, this is the Shiseido uh, Lash Curler. $19.50 for this. I guess they, they didn't carry Shiseido there before, but now they're carrying it at Ulta. And here it is. And I've been using it now for a good week or two. No, about a good week. A good week. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Some days, like I said, I, I feel like, what, this is like your, any typical, uh, lash curler. Um, I, I love my Sally Hansen one from, um, I got this at Walmart. This is really, really good and it's very comfortable. Um, uh, but, um, it's, I, I need, I've been needing a new one. So I thought, well, I'll try this one. I've heard some really good things about this one. Um, it hurts me when I squeeze, <laughs> hurts my fingers. Uh, but... 
I sometimes I think it, it doesn't do much in terms of really curling my lashes and then I go put the primer on and darn the primer really I mean I could see my lashes really really curled so I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I don't know if it's wishful thinking that I'm thinking that it's really doing a lot better job than my Sally Hansen one I don't know and then some days I'm like nope it's going back it's going back so I don't know how I feel about that one right now the other thing I picked up was this Garnier 5 second of blur. I don't know how I feel about it because it's 1950. You know what I mean? Is it worth 1950? Okay, moving on now. Garnier uh, 5 second blur skin renew instant smooth. Um, this I bought off the recommendation of Kristen uh, 321 and I am so glad that I bought this. So glad. Um, you put it underneath your eyes and you can see the, your your uh, some of your wrinkles blur out not all of them no not all of them but it does it does blur some of them out I also even put it on top of my lids because I have a lot of crepiness and I find that it's actually smoothing out some of that crepiness so my shadows and liner and things like that is going on a little bit easier so this was $18.99 at Ulta uh, and I was able to use the $350 off if you spend $10, that little coupon, I use that. But I've seen this at Walgreens and sometimes, these are $17.99 at Walgreens and sometimes they have them buy one get one 50% off. So yeah, and then if you have a coupon for Garnier, it would be good. All right, now this is the moisturizer that I want to talk about. This is the Vici, I just showed you the serum. This is for specifically for women who are menopausal and on men, you know, pre perimenopausal and menopausal women like myself. And um, I've been using this now for a little for a couple of days, and I love it. It's supposed to really help in the cheekbone area, the skin around the cheekbone area, make it lift and and taunt and and then in the neck area I love it and the smell again it's not perfumey it's not that crazy perfume that you find in some of these products it's it's very light very nice uh, now this one was originally $49.50 and I paid $13.97 I even showed this on my Instagram because I was so excited so excited so I'll continue to use this and then I'll let you know but oh i love this stuff love it um so i got that the other thing i did pick up a, one of the you know how they have the 21 days of beauty at ulta i did pick this one up there it was 16.95 the laura geller baked balance and brighten um foundation this is in medium i picked this up i've been always i've been curious about this for a long 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 time and i figured well for 16.95 or 16.99 that it was it's a good time for me to try it so and it looks like this but I don't know I don't know you guys know how I feel about powders and this is a foundation so I need to look up some YouTube videos and see how to use this <laughs> I know I'm not I just powder I was like really do I really want this but it feels really really good nah, I'll give it a try yeah, I'll give it a try but it's really pretty very soft so hopefully it'll work for me just because of my scarring. It, it, you know, it gets a little challenging with my scarring, but that's okay. Okay, the other thing I picked up on a recommendation from a YouTuber, I haven't tried it and it's actually still sealed. Um, I saw Melissa Autry. I love watching her videos. Uh, but she said that this is really, really good. Another powder, not sure how I feel about that, but it is the NYX No Filter... Uh, Sans Filtre, I guess that's just another name for no filter in another language. Uh, so I got that. It's not opened. And um, I got the last one in this shade, which uh, medium olive. But I got the last one. And the lady there at Ulta said this is very, very popular. Very popular and particularly this shade. So I'll try this and I'll let you guys know how that goes. The other thing I picked up was the NYX uh, Lingerie these uh, liquid lipsticks and it's not opened but I picked that one up and oh my gosh the color uh, number two I don't know this is all it has so I picked that up yes and that was it for Ulta so now Kohl's and I'm gonna try and rush through this guys because I already have a feeling this video is really really long 
and I don't want to do two separate videos and I have more stores. All right, Kohl's, Lorac uh, Pro Powder Cheek Stain, and I paid $6.30 for this, and I had hauled one before, and it was uh, in petal pink. Yeah, I had hauled that, but I had paid like $8.40 for that one, and this one I paid $6.30. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the packaging, and let me show you the blush. Pretty. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. It would look so good today, huh? Look at that. My son's playing guitar. I don't know if you can hear it. But look at this color. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to use this. I really haven't been using any of my uh, new items, new products, because I'm doing two project pans, and we're at the tail end of the year, and I am so determined to get a lot of those products used up. So I'm really not using anything that I get in terms of makeup. All right, uh, the other things that I picked up were three Lorac lipsticks. These were all $6.40. Let me rush through these really, really quickly. And I love the sleek packaging on them. This one is called Scarlet. There you go. Beautiful. Let's see if I can. Okay, and then this one is in True Red. there and the last one is coral it's coral right there gorgeous yeah I haven't even tried the lipsticks or anything that I have been hauling for you guys and showing you guys nothing because I'm really trying to get through my project pan lipsticks all right so that was it for Kohl's okay uh, now, QVC, I want to talk about an item I bought at QVC. I had thrown the package away. I had hauled this before last sat Sunday, and anyway. Uh, this stuff is amazing. Oh my gosh. I paid $32, and that was on sale at QVC. It comes with a little brush, and it does have a little holder for your brush, but I don't know where it's at. <laughs> and um, it has the protectant plastic protectant that you're supposed to put on top and it is a sifter uh, top let me tell you something guys this thing is is powder but wet like it, it's wet oh my gosh and it's it's like water lux I think it is but the box had more information so if you go on QVC this is from, I didn't even tell you what's from, huh? This is one, it's called One by Kose Skincare. And it's in the skincare uh, category, okay? But here it is, One by Kose Skincare. It's amazing, it's amazing. Oh, you're, it just, the powder goes, you actually just kind of tap it like this. I do anyway, because I, at first, because it's wet, I first, I was just so afraid to just powder it on like that and then brush it on because I felt like it was gonna take all of my makeup off and my under eye concealer because it, it feels wet. Dries instantly though. It's just, it's amazing stuff guys. Really, really nice. And again, I paid $32 on sale on QVC. All right, the last thing uh, we are going to talk about Marshalls because, because, because I have a confession. I have a confession. So let's just get right to it. All right, at Marshalls, a while ago now, I've had this. This is from NARS, and it's a makeup remover, and it's an oil consistency, and this was $12.99. Okay, when I bought this, I came home to read reviews, and it was 50-50. Some people couldn't stand it, and some people loved it. It was 50-50, at least when I, when I saw the reviews. Um, as you know, you can see it's an oil and I have used this. Um, and this is makeup remover. Um, you put this, you could either put it with dry, dry, you know, just dry, put it on like that, or slightly damp fingers. So you just do about three pumps and three pumps is actually a lot. Um, so two pumps would be okay. And you just do, 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 and then you just do your eyes. You could do it with your fingers because it's oily and it's so nice. And I personally, for me, I love it. Um, okay, 
The other thing I picked up at Marshalls was the Rocket uh, Mascara. I've used this before and I liked it. I paid $3.99 for this one. I also saw Milani there and this is in black and this is the, um, what are you? The Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I paid $2.99 for this one. I'm not going to open it because I have a couple of other things I'm using. Now this is the brown and eyeliner um, duo. Um, Eye Tech uh, Definer, Definer $2.99 as well. And this is in medium brown. So it has the liner on one side and for your brows on the other side. So I picked that up there and okay, ready for my confession? All right, you guys know I was on a no buy. I started August 9th and it was supposed to, supposed to have been over uh, September 9th. Well, I bought these two products October 30, uh, October, August 31st. I didn't even make it into September when I bought these. Let me show you. I, it was there at Marshalls and I once I knew I was going to pick these up, I went ahead and bought that, that, and that. All of this was purchased August 31st. But the reason why I did it was because it is the Kat Von D blushes. And these were the only two there and I was so afraid that if I didn't pick these up then I wasn't gonna see them. Well, I've since been back to Marshalls and and I've been to two Marshalls. They're gone. I don't see anymore. So I'm just so <laughs> I had to break my no buy. Uh, yeah, so I, I just I could not let them. I could not walk out of Marshalls and just leave them behind. I just didn't have the heart. Right here, both of them. You know, for, I think these were, I threw away the box, $6.99, I think. Yeah, and then this is the other one, Mickey and Mallory, that's that one, Mickey and Mallory. <clears throat> and this is the one I love. It's more of a peachy tone. And I'll give you a swatch. And they're so smooth and so creamy and oh, I just could not, I could not, could not leave them behind. Not that, those two, but these two right here. So this here made me break my no buy. They made me, they made me break my no buy. So, failed at that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I failed. I, I did not make it to September 9th. I broke my no buy. And that is a confession of a beauty junkie for you. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, that is it. I know this video is very, very long. I am so sorry for that. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed. I do hope you enjoyed. Okay, my friends, I will see you all on the next one.